hi everyone in this video let us see uh, some problems on this uh, circular waveguide so first problem is going to be on a dominant mode of the circular waveguide so in the case of dominant mode so the first problem is on dominant mode is on dominant mode so an air field circular waveguide and air field circular waveguide with a is equal to 2.5 centimeters nothing but it uh, decides what it is radius of the circular waveguide is excited in dominant mode yet 12 gigahertz all the frequencies are in terms of gigahertz only gigahertz calculate fc nothing but cutoff frequency lambda g what do you mean by lambda g guide wavelength and z z wave impedance ZZ wave impedance <coughs> okay just very simple problem so what you are asked to do we need to calculate the cutoff frequency of C guide wavelength lambda G and wave impedance ZZ so he has given the circular waveguide has a radius of 2.5 centimeters A is given and operating frequency f is given that is 12 gigahertz okay so wherever we need lambda naught <coughs> that we can calculate using this lambda naught is equal to c by f okay 3 into 10 power 8 meters per second divided by this 12 into 10 power 9 gigahertz okay 12 into 10 power 9 uh, gigahertz is nothing but 1 by second we can write it as 1 by second so if you, if you simplify this 3 4 okay 1 by 4 into 10 power minus 1 meters okay so it is 0 0.25 0 0.25 into 10 power minus 1 meters you can write, write it as 0 0.025 <coughs> meters this is lambda naught so in this way you should calculate the lambda naught with respect with uh, operating frequency okay now we should know the dominant mode in the case of circular waveguide the dominant mode is te11 in circular waveguide the dominant mode is for te it is te11 okay we should know this one without knowing this without knowing this we cannot go forward because m and n value should be known so now the first parameter that is cutoff frequency cutoff frequency so cutoff frequency fc is equal to c into p dash nm by c for te i am calculating p dash nm by 2 pi a okay that is equal to what is c 3 into 10 power 8 meters per second into p dash nm for the dominant mode 
te11 where m is equal to 1 n equal to 1 the value of p dash nm should be very minimum so from the table it is 8.41 it is 1.841 divided by <coughs> 2 pi into what is the a it is 2.5 centimeters so we should write it in terms of meters so 0 0.025 meters see everything should be uniformly written here the c we have taken in terms of meters so the radius should also be converted into meters so if we simplify this we will get 3.517 gigahertz this is the cutoff frequency so below this frequency no signal will be transmitted through the waveguide above all the frequencies will be going <coughs> and now second parameter is guide wavelength guide wavelength lambda g guide wavelength so lambda g is equal to we know this lambda naught by square root of 1 minus f c by f whole square so all values are known just substitution and simplification so lambda naught is what is the lambda naught we have got there 0 0.025 so 0 0.025 divided by square root of 1 minus the cutoff frequency is 3.517 see here in order to calculate lambda g even if he doesn't ask if he doesn't ask to calculate cutoff frequency or the calculation of guide wavelength definitely you should calculate fc because it is a parameter to calculate so 3.1 uh, 3.517 divided by uh, f f is nothing but operating frequency 12 both are in gigahertz so no problem whole square so lambda g is equal to so after simplification you will get a 0 0.0261 meters units are very important and third parameter is wave impedance wave impedance that is z now as you are calculating for te it is te okay we have taken the dominant mode te 11 one. that means you are calculating all these for te mode so ZTE is equal to eta by in the denominator it is common square root of 1 minus fc by f whole square that is equal to eta is nothing but 120 pi or you can write it as 377 ohms okay square root of 1 minus 3.517 divided by 12 square so if you simplify this the value is 394.35 ohms this is ZTE wave impedance okay so in this way these three parameters are calculated now let us see another problem on the resonant frequency another simple problem on the resonant frequency on resonant frequency in in rectangular waveguide rectangular waveguide okay so the problem is find the three lowest resonating frequencies resonating frequencies for the air field for the air field rectangular cavity rectangular waveguide rectangular waveguide cavity resonator cavity resonator operating 
in TE mode. Here specifically given that it is operating in TE mode with the dimensions <coughs> with the dimensions A is equal to 4 centimeters and B is equal to some 3 centimeters and D is given as again 4 centimeters. Okay. So now with these di uh, dimensions we need to calculate three lowest possible resonating frequencies okay so fr is equal to we know the formula resonating frequency formula for the rectangle waveguide fr is equal to c by 2 root over m by a whole square plus n by b whole square plus p by d whole square okay so now let us simplify this already we know all the values some of the values here okay uh, see in order to calculate the resonating frequency for a particular mode we should know the value of m n p okay uh, before that let us simplify it using our known values 3 into 10 power 8 meters per second divided by 2 into square root of m by a m by what is a it is 4 okay let us do one thing all the values a b d are in centimeters let us write c is also in centimeters so into 10 power 2 centimeters then we can write it as directly 4 whole square plus n by 3 whole square plus p by 4 whole square okay so that is equal to uh, after simplification 1.25 square root of 3m whole square c what i am writing here after uh, taking lcm inside and taking them outside 3m whole square plus 4n whole square plus 3p square this is the resonating frequency f for gigahertz now once if you know the values of m n p directly you can substitute and simplify okay so the lowest possible uh, modes are for TE 101 mode FR is equal to now can you calculate that 101 means M is equal to 1 N is equal to 0 P is equal to 1 so directly you can substitute like this 3 into 1 whole square 3 into 1 whole square plus 4 into 0 whole square plus again 3 into 1 whole square hope you understand now why we have taken this so after simplifying it is just 5.3 gigahertz result is in gigahertz only okay because all these are microwave frequencies and similarly for te 011 te 011 fr is equal to 1.25 into square root of 3 into 0 whole square plus 4 into 1 whole square plus 3 into 1 whole square so that is equal to 6.25 gigahertz and similarly the third mode is te triple 1 fr is equal to for triple 1 all the values will be there so 3 into 1 whole square plus 4 into 1 whole square plus 3 into 1 whole square that is equal to 7.28 gigahertz okay so these are the three lowest resonating frequencies for this rectangular cavity resonator so in this way you need to do the problems when you are asked to calculate on the resonating frequency of the rectangular waveguide or the dominant mode in the circular wave grid. Thank you.